is the moment. Tonight is the night. Hey guys, it's Crypto Meow Analysis coming at you with my very first video on Dogecoin. So I'm trying to expand the amount of coins that I talk about and the technical analysis that I do on multiple coins because I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you can help me out, uh, that would be great if you like the video and if you subscribe. Again, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you need me to look at your coin, please let me know. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's get into uh, updates on on Dogecoin. <coughs> it's crazy. I I remember seeing Dogecoin back in 2019 when it was between 0 0.00001 and 0 0.0003, and I remember I had. I think I had like a mil, five million, five million coins. It was on, uh, it was on Robinhood because they had it listed the longest. And I remember it went up like three times, and I was like, oh, okay, that's a, that's a pretty good, pretty good money. So I took the profit, and literally, this happened. So I could have been, I could have been rich. I could have been a millionaire if I just held held on to my Dogecoin. I never thought anything of it because again dogecoin come on how high did i really think it was going to go i was doing my research on coins with potential of 10 to 100 xing like xlm i was really big in xlm uh i was big in uh chain link uh shiba inu just these other coins and i was like man like i, I didn't i didn't think dogecoin was going to do what it did uh, but anyway, uh, in terms of any news, there isn't any sort of news that's come out for Dogecoin that's going to potentially send the send the price skyrocketing. Again, Dogecoin, from my understanding, it's really it's really driven by the community and by Elon Musk making uh, tweets about Dogecoin because again, you got to follow the money. So if this guy has billions and billions of dollars and he actually like accepts Dogecoin for Teslas, then yeah, that definitely tells you something. Anyway, so I read, I read that uh, the uh, the dog that that inspired Dogecoin, like the image, he unfortunately passed away and he's no longer with us. He died at the age of twelve. I think it was because of leukemia. So that sucks, um, and that's really sad. It's a really sad day for the Dogecoin community. So, um, so I, I do um, my condolences. Uh, without further ado, let me get into some technical analysis and give people some targets of where where I think it's going. So I love looking at these two ribbons, the stock RSI and the RSI, because it tells me when would be a good time to buy. So that's one thing that I'm very like I'm not that big of a trader, but that's one thing that I that I'm always looking at. It's you always have to look at the RSI and don't think that like don't start buying on its way up. You got to start buying when it's oversold when it's down because it's bound to rebound so if you look i mean just like this last you know year from june to june so if you're if you're looking at, at, at accumulating you theoretically want to accumulate during this so you know you wait you know you buy you buy here and say you waited here nobody knows it's going to happen but that's you know 223 percent not necessarily saying that you're going to trade it or, or sell it but again or let's just say you bought here when it's extremely oversold you're looking at, you know, a, you know, you're looking at your portfolio being up 68%. I don't know about you guys, but I love that feeling. I love when I look at my portfolio and it's up 100, 200, 300%. It's the best feeling ever because I'm like, oh, well, if Bitcoin goes down, then I'm not going to be down that much money. So don't like, don't, you got to have a strategy. You got to have a plan. Don't just like buy, buy, buy whenever, or, you know, I get paid on the first, so I'm going to buy on the first. No, you got to look at the technical analysis you got to look at the rsi and see when the stock rsi is resetting this means it's extremely bullish but you know it's it's just going to go back up when it goes back up it's going to take the price with it so for example over here it hit extremely oversold and we're already up 13 percent from it being oversold so theoretically if you timed it perfectly and if you start say let's just say you started accumulating dogecoin at this moment and you bought a thousand dollars you'd already be up a hundred and thirty dollars so just keep that in mind uh that's that's really important because 
you, you need to look at those things, especially if you're accumulating and you're holding long term. So theoretically, for the past year, you could have been accumulating and your average price would have been, you know, uh, five cent, uh, four, sorry, uh, four, four, seven, three, uh, four, seven, three, uh, six, twenty one. And let's just say about here, uh, 531 and uh, 550. So you're looking at between 55 and no, sorry. You're looking at between 52 and 57, 5075 in terms of the price, uh, the average price. So if you're looking at it that way, you're at, you're sitting at, we're sitting at 624. You're already up on your investment. So again, I really want to point that out. Um, so let's uh, do a quick FIP retracement and see where we're headed. So usually you take your high to the low. Uh, so it looks like right on cue, we got rejected at the 236. So we almost tagged, uh, we almost tagged the bottom of the channel. So we're looking at, damn, is it really gonna hit five cents? So on the, on the downside, we're looking at, uh, Wait, what is this? We're looking at okay. On the downside, we're looking at uh, fifty-two thirty-eight. On the high end, we need to get over uh, seventy-seven sixty-four. Once we get a, once we uh, break this channel and get um, in the yellow uh, between the two three six and three eight two, uh, theoretically, we're, we could actually start uh, looking at an uptrend and a trend reversal. But for the most part, it looks like it's just been consolidating for the last dang two years, uh, which it looks like it actually did over here too, prior to the big pump. So you're looking at, you know, July, 2019 to, no, wait, why is this, am I looking at this wrong? Yeah, there we go, there's the graph. There's the monster graph. So not including that, yeah, we're looking at a con we're looking at January two uh, two thousand eighteen to let's just say January two thousand twenty. We're looking at two years of uh, accumulation. So if you're if you're looking at it that way, you're looking at May two thousand twenty one. Well, I guess May two thousand twenty three has already happened. So maybe we won't take it from the from the top, but we'll take it from uh, it's it's low before it actually bounced and maintained accumulation. So we're looking at possibly a move up June 2024, which would be next year. So all of this will be consolidation. We're looking at chop being chopped up and then starting to move up in June 2024 and hopefully reaching a dollar and bouncing off of it. Kind of like what we did here where we maintained the previous all-time high at one cent and then we kind of flew out of here anyway please like subscribe comment again i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so that would really help me out if you subscribe uh you don't even have to watch my videos you could just subscribe um anyway uh let me know if you have any questions and if you need me to look at your coin thank you